it is Sunday, November 5th. I just woke up not too long ago. Loved that extra hour of sleep. Also, please don't mind the fact that the, <laughs> the Christmas tree is already up. I'm not gonna lie, normally I put it up the day after Halloween because I just love Christmas and Thanksgiving decorations suck to be honest. Like there's just not really anything you can do to decorate for Thanksgiving. And I don't know, I'm like if I'm gonna take the time and effort to put my tree up, then I wanna have it up for a while because I'm the person that takes it down the first week in January. So I put it up early, but I take it down early. Whereas I know a lot of people will put it up after Thanksgiving and then sometimes leave their tree up through January. So I'm the opposite of that. I put it up early so I can enjoy it. Not to mention I travel a lot during the holidays. So for like three weeks out of those two months, I'm not even home. So really I'm getting the full effect of my decorations for four weeks, if this makes sense. Not that I need to justify because it makes me happy and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. But it is the fifth day of NaNoWriMo. I am doing well, I'm on track. I didn't write very many words on Friday. I only wrote 433 words, if I can remember correctly. <laughs> But the other days I've been writing close to 2,200 words or 2,400 words. So my word counts have been really, really high, which is fantastic. But I do have a slightly different goal than most nanoers. I am doing a nano diary, so you will see that at the beginning of December once it's finished. But instead of writing 50,000 words, my goal is to write around 67,000 words because I'm trying to get Renegade Crew, which is Shadow Crown Book 2, up to around 90,000 words. So for the first draft, anyways, of course it's gonna be longer than that once I start editing it, but I'm doing really well with Nano. I've been trying to kind of get ahead, but I'm not, I'm not ahead. And it makes me a little nervous because I am going to Harry Potter World in Orlando this weekend. So when you guys see this video going up on Thursday, I will be on an airplane to Florida and I am literally so excited. So there's not too much on the agenda for today. I just kind of want to organize the house, get it ready for the week because I do have a busy three days at work. Unfortunately, I wish I could have just taken this whole week off, but I'm running out of vacation time. So I need to do laundry. I also want to start packing just so that, just so that my suitcase is packed ahead of time. I don't want to have to stress and do that when I get home from work on Wednesday. Other than that, I need to film a video and then obviously write my words for today for Nano. So I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and get ready a little bit, put a little bit of makeup on. Again, that always helps me be slightly more productive. I need to get out of this robe, get out of my pajamas. Ooh, this is not good. Okay, before I do anything, I'm making myself a cup of coffee. All right, so I do have two shirts that were already Harry Potter style shirts, but this one is a Hogwarts shirt. I just got that one at Target actually a while ago. Um, and then I did buy this one off of Amazon because it's just so cute and it's actually really, really soft, really nice material. But my sister said she has the same shirt. I think hers is in maroon, so we'll be matching. <laughs> I guess I should probably check the weather real fast and see what what Orlando's got in store for us so I know how to pack appropriately. All right, so I'm going in on Thursday. So it looks like, oh man, we've got some warmer weather and some rainy weather on Saturday. That's a bummer. So low 80s, high 60s is what I need to pack for. 92% humidity, super. If I'm going to be totally honest, I'm probably going to pack a couple pairs of Lululemon leggings because those are gonna be most comfortable running around the park in. I may pack a couple pairs of jeans, but most likely I'll be wearing my Harry Potter shirts, Lululemon leggings, and then <laughs> some Vans sneakers, so. Yeah. I've realized I really need to move these clothes that are at the bottom up a level <laughs> because my cat sometimes likes to hide underneath the clothes and she kind of burrows in there. And so when I pull a shirt out from that lower level, there's always this like pile of hair in one corner. So I may need to rearrange my closet. <laughs> 
Real quick, I do want to give a shout out to Story Arts for collaborating with me on this video. As you guys know, I keep it really, really cold in my house and with the winter weather approaching, even though we don't get much <laughs> winter in Texas, Story Arts has actually sent me some really awesome goodies, including these writing gloves and this infinity scarf. The really unique thing about Story Arts is that you can choose from their wide collection of books the text that you actually want to have on your gloves or on your scarf. So both of these are actually from The Great Gatsby, so I absolutely love my scarf, I love my writing gloves, and before I even collaborated with Story Arts, I actually had bought my sister, I think a year or two ago, an infinity scarf that had the Alice in Wonderland text on it, which was really, really cool. So when they reached out to me wanting to do a collab, I was so excited. I was like, yes, because I, I never bought myself anything from their store and I've always wanted to. So it was just really cool to get these in the mail. I love this because I feel like I can keep kind of my hands and my forearms warm, but I can still type and have all the mobility in my hands and my fingers. And I want to let you guys know that this is a perfect gift for book lovers, bookworms, or I don't know, just people who have a favorite book and also love fashion. So I am super in love with this stuff. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing it all the time. And the team over at Story Arts was nice enough to set up a discount code for you guys. So if you use my code Kristen Martin at checkout, then you will get 10% off your order. So this is a great way to support an awesome company with really, really cute and unique stuff and get the perfect holiday gift for the book lover in your family. I will make sure to leave all of this information as well as that discount code and Story Arts website in the description box below. So make sure you go check them out and buy yourself some awesome goodies like fingerless gloves and infinity scarves. Okay, that's much better. I feel like I am ready to take on this day. I did realize though, this is like the third time I'm going to heat up my coffee because I can't seem to pause long enough to actually drink it. So here we go. Ah, 15 seconds always does the trick. It's like it's freshly brewed. I hear a cat. Oh no, putting down the coffee again. What are you doing up on the counter? Did you come out this morning to say hello? You know, not many people know you exist because you hide so much. <laughs> yeah? For those that don't know, Lacey is seven years old she'll turn eight in june so i've had her okay it's it's totally fine denali's like what is she crying about <laughs> shut up <laughs> but she'll turn eight in june i've had her ever since i moved to houston how do you feel about that we are very talkative this morning you can go she's not gonna chase you what are you saying not gonna chase you see we're going through a little bit of an adjustment period because yesterday Jonathan came to pick up Harley so whew, I was really emotional yesterday I'm gonna try not to get emotional now because I love Harley so much but Harley is his dog you know dogs kind of pick an alpha and Harley definitely picked Jonathan Denali picked me so we knew at some point that we were going to have to separate the two of them. So Denali seems like she's doing okay. She does sit by the door a lot and she looks out the window. Um, so yesterday she was very confused, but this morning she seems to be better. And yesterday I took her on a walk, got her new toys, played with her a whole bunch. So if you're wondering why sweet Harley isn't bopping around the house, it's because she's no longer here. So I'm not gonna talk about that anymore because I will get emotional. I'm going to drink my coffee. <laughs> And I need to get started on God, just all the chores I have to do. I have some clothes in the dryer from yesterday, which is not good. I normally like to fold those right away. I need to empty the dishwasher because I ran that last night. I need to sweep the floors because Denali's hair is just all over the place. This is pretty amazing though. I don't know if you can see this, but the two of them, Denali and Lacey are more or less coexisting. She never used to come out here when there were two dogs. She just kind of stayed tucked away and she was always hidden. And so I think because Denali doesn't chase her, I think she feels safer coming out and showing her face, huh? Denali's not gonna chase you. 
That was Harley. Harley's a bird dog. Harley likes to chase things. You are, you have a lot to say this morning. So yeah, I, like I said, I'm gonna finish my coffee and I'm gonna get started on all of these chores and then hopefully sit down to start writing. I need to get ahead on my writing, but it is only 8.25, it's nice. It feels like 9.30, it's only 8.30, so it was really nice to gain an hour. But I definitely wanna use that extra hour to get some words in and try to get ahead before I hop on a plane to Florida. I will show you guys what I did all before nine o'clock. So the room is completely cleaned up. The bed is made. The bathroom is all cleaned up and organized. So is the closet, nothing on the floor. And then I am going to run my little Roomba mopping dude to kind of clean up the floors a little bit more. But at least for the most part, the all the fur and the hair has been picked up from you. And I've got the kitchen mostly cleaned up. I'm just gonna wait for those, for that pan and the cutting board to dry. Now that things are clean and the house is in order, I feel so much better and I'm able to, that is so bright, holy moly. I guess the sun's coming out through the clouds. <laughs> but now that everything's clean, I feel like I'm just better able to focus and actually sit down and start writing, go through emails. Is anybody else like that where you feel like you have to kind of clean and tidy up before you can actually sit down to get work done? I feel like when my home or just my workspace too is cluttered, I can't get anything done. I feel like I just, I'm sitting there thinking about all the other things that I need to be doing to clean up the house. But maybe that's just me being a little OCD. <laughs> Who knows? And my workspace is slightly messy. It's not too bad. So I might just tidy up a little bit here before I actually get to work, but yeah, I just wanna get some words in, make sure I check my emails, make sure there's nothing super pressing that I need to answer. I realized that I haven't done my affirmations and my journal entry for this morning. So that is what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. And then I've made myself sort of a little couch bed because I don't know, I just want to be horizontal when I'm writing. So I'm going to get my words in for Nano on the couch. But first I'm going to write in my journal, do my daily gratitude practice, write down my affirmations. I normally do this right when I wake up, but sometimes I get sidetracked and start doing something else. I am human, but I always come back to it and make sure that I get my journaling in every single day. So I went to start writing and of course my laptop decided to tell me that there were updates that needed to be installed. Also don't mind the fact that there's a fire going in the fireplace and it's not even noon yet. <laughs> and the Christmas tree's lit. I'm just gonna try to enjoy the ambiance while it's here, especially before I leave to go to Orlando. But yeah, it's just been sitting. It's just been sitting on this screen, just hanging out. I'm like you're done, your bar is full. I just feel like it's one of those mornings where I, I wanna get a lot of words in and things, things are kind of working against me today. I can also hear the people doing yard work outside, so that's distracting. So now I'm gonna have to get up and go to my desk and get my headphones. <laughs> ah! Going to get some words down though, I am so determined because I found that if I break up my writing into chunks throughout the day, so if I try to write 750 words in the morning, 
750 in the afternoon and then another 750 at night that puts me at my 2200 goal that i'm trying to meet since i'm trying to write more than 50,000 words for nanowrimo so breaking it up in chunks like that makes it much more manageable and i don't get as overwhelmed <laughs> when i sit down to write because i'm not like oh my god i have to write 2200 words and so it's like okay 700 words you know i can I can manage, I can, I can knock that out in 30 minutes to an hour. So yeah, yay, my computer has come back to life so I can finally log in and get some words down. It's about that time to take Denali for W-A-L-K. You know I'm putting my shoes on, right? Are you excited? Nally? <gasps> Are you excited? Do you know what we're gonna do? Hey, hey, we're gonna go on a walk. <gasps> you excited for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> you wanna go for a walk? Okay, let's go. All right, so I definitely got pretty sidetracked there, but I did write 989 words in that little writing session that you guys just saw. And now is a little bit later. It's already dark outside, but it's 545 here. So I've just been watching the Mindy Project. Can't really see the TV, can you? Anyways, it says Hulu Originals, but I've been watching the Mindy Project just kind of in the background, relaxing. I'm probably about to cook some dinner, but just trying to have a relaxing Sunday before I have to go to work. I did a lot of stuff this morning. So I'm probably gonna cook dinner, watch a little bit more of this show, and then I'll probably write some more, but I did wanna show you guys, I totally forgot that I had some books come in yesterday, and I'm really excited about them. So the first book that came in is The Self-Love Experiment by Shannon Kaiser, and I'm really excited about this one. I've read two of her other books. I read 21 Adventures for Your Soul, and then I think it was called Find, Find Your Happy. I can't remember what the second book was called, but I really like 21 Adventures for Your Soul. The Find Your Happy book was good. I just feel like, it may have been a debut novel or a first novel, so it just, I noticed there were a lot of errors and it seemed a little bit repetitive. It was still a good book. It just wasn't this kind of like, this book where you have all these epiphanies, you know, when you read self-help books. So I've heard the self-love experiment is really, really good. And so I'm excited to dive into this one. I also bought Feminine Genius by Liana Silver. And I'm really excited for this one. It's the provocative path to waking up and turning on the wisdom of being a woman. So I've also heard great things about this book and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And then last but not least, I got A Course in Miracles and I realize this is the original edition, but it says it's the text workbook manual for teachers. So it's still wrapped in its plastic and it's a pretty, I mean, this is a pretty hefty book, but in a lot of the books I read by Shannon Kaiser, by Gabrielle Bernstein, by Rebecca Campbell, they all tend to reference and mention A Course in Miracles. And so I just really felt the need to actually pick up this book since so many of the books I've read make references to it. So that way I can actually understand what they're talking about and just get a better feel for this book. So A Course in Miracles, Feminine Genius and The Self-Love Experiment. These are the three books that I picked up and I'm looking forward to reading. I think I'm going to take The Self-Love Experiment with me on my trip to Orlando, which I really need to pack for. So that's what we're gonna go do right now. I'm just gonna sit in here for a minute. Apparently Nolly wants to come with me. Oh, me girl. Okay, just ignore her her head but really I'm just going to pack those two shirts that I showed you guys earlier in the vlog I will pack some lululemon leggings I will also pack my red vans so I can run around the amusement park like a child I got two of these backpacks from the outlets I think it was actually from it was like the pack sun outlet so random so I shopped there when I was in like middle school but haven't shopped there since then or it was PacSun or Zoomies or one of those stores, but they had this deal for these backpacks that I really, really liked. So there's this kind of brown and green and purple backpack that looks kind of tribal. 
and then there's this white and teal and black backpack that also kind of has a tribal look to it but they both kind of remind me of Arizona which is where I'm from so I really do like this one because it has some extra pockets and I find that I can fit like my laptop and my camera and a bunch of stuff in this one whereas this one is not as easily accessible <laughs> And seriously, besides my pajamas and undergarments and this bag here, this is literally going to be the lightest my suitcase has ever been because it's only for a couple of days. Woohoo, Harry Potter. Alrighty, so we are later into the evening now. I ended up writing some more. My total today was 1,329 words. So not my greatest day, but it's Sunday. I did really well earlier this week, so. I'm good with 1300 words, I'm fine with that. I am on track, so that's a good thing. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, make sure to check out Story Arts. You can find all of that information, their website, as well as the coupon code to get 10% off your order in the description box below. And like I mentioned earlier, when you guys see this vlog, I will be on a plane to Florida to go to Harry Potter World, so that vlog will be coming your way next Thursday. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to support my channel and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!